I just had a great time at Great Wolf Lodge. You can see it there behind me. Uh, checked the car this morning and it was at, what did I say, 20? 21 percent or something like that we left the car kind of cold soaked there was a snowflake on the battery we don't know what we're about to get into in, in this car we do have a supercharger nearby but it's going to be so cold the battery's going to be so cold that the uh the supercharging is going to be slow it's not going to have time to precondition all that kind of fun stuff so let's see what we got going on here inside of our tesla model 3. So here's what we're looking at in uh, semi-cold weather. I mean, it's not that cold, it's 48 degrees, but it, it, it sat all night long. We do have a snowflake on the battery there. What that means is the battery is super cold. It is not optimal temperature for uh, actually driving and, and being you know, optimized. So we are preconditioning for the Manteca supercharger. We're at 18%, we should make it uh, at 15%, so we're not too far away. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that thing um, hopefully a little bit warmer than it is now, and we'll get to supercharging uh, nearby. How far away is it? 2.7 miles, not too bad. We are heading into Manteca Perimeter Drive Way, something supercharger. Now turn left onto Perimeter Drive. Perimeter, she even says She line. said Perimeter, oh, really, here? Yeah, that's what it said. Any guesses on what kind of speeds we're gonna see? And the reason I say that is because we have a snowflake on our battery. We're at 15% state of charge. But with the snowflake on the battery, I'm gonna say 40 kilowatts, at least to start. What do you got, Marcus? 50, 60. 50 to 60 kilowatts. How about you, Hannah? I have no guess. No guess whatsoever. All right. 120. 120. Oh, wow. Turn right onto Grove Avenue, then turn left. So, uh, what did I say? I said 40, I think. All right, we'll see. Right here? No, keep going. Oh, there's a... Uh, You're right. EAs, I think. Oh, Rivians. Now turn right onto here. Grove Avenue. Yeah, I can see them. There we are. Manteca. There's perimeter Rivian. Drive. There's Rivian chargers. Now turn left. And it's, I'm hearing there are Rivian chargers, which is cool. Oh, there's pull-throughs. This is like Europe. Now your destination Damn. is on the right. Wow, this is really cool. So we got 5A, 5B, so guess what we're gonna do? 5A. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't think sharing is gonna affect this session anyway, but... That's a brand new one. We'll see here. All right, well, let's get out and plug it in, see what happens. Man, Tekka. I don't know what the blue painter's tape means, but maybe we'll about we'll to find out here. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Starting to charge. Snowflake on the battery. We're at 14%, 30 miles, and we're actually in the yellow as well. So I just heard the contactor start clicking. We are going to start charging. How does it know 35 minutes when, oh, to 80%. That's not too bad. Uh-oh, I might be eating some crow. Oh. I'm eating crow. Mm, mm. Good crow. That's a weird saying, by the way. 80 kilowatts uh, with a snowflake on the battery. I'm actually kind of shocked. I'll take it. And we're not sharing right now, uh, provided nobody um, comes in next to us. But uh, 86, we're still going up. And as it warms up, it's going to keep going up. But it's only going to max out at 150 because that's all these chargers are capable of. So that said, we uh, came from Great Wolf Lodge and we are going to Spaghetti Factory, which, you know, because that's what we do. Longtime viewers of the channel know that video one had a Spaghetti Factory featured in it. Yeah, so Manteca brought up, did you say it on camera before? Uh, it's kind of like Mammoth uh, Lakes, California, that has pull-throughs, which kind of makes sense if you're towing up to the mountains, kind of kind of makes sense. So anyway, we moved uh, supercharger stalls because uh, lo and behold, somebody you know parked right next to us, not knowing that these share. However, at the moment, it's not mattering too much because we're still only at 65 kilowatts. But once the battery kicks in and starts warming up a little more, I think we're gonna see better speeds. And um, hopefully we'll ride a little higher curve than we are right now. But um, we are navigated to our spaghetti factory which is an hour and eight minutes away, 63 miles. At the moment, we will not make it at a negative 5% uh, estimation. So 
Uh, knowing what we know previously on this trip, we're gonna do a little buffer as well because it's super, super cold. And uh, for some reason, the estimates are a little off right now these days. There goes a the Model 3, finished with their charging session. Pretty cool. By the way, if you ever get this message on your screen, uh, next time navigate to supercharger, battery will precondition for faster charging. Even though you have done it, uh, it's because it's cold or you haven't driven far enough for it to warm up. So uh, if you're yelling at the screen saying, I did, I did, I did, and you, you know, drove two miles, that's why it's not long enough to actually do anything for you. All right, so far not um, doing what I was thinking it was gonna do. It's not, um, ramping up it's actually still going down 54 kilowatts at 39 percent state of charge or 80 miles on the battery um the blue snowflake is gone though which is good um oh but it still says battery temperature low over here uh charge rate limited by low battery temperature so it's still not quite there but better than a snowflake i'm guessing by the way you can notice the cost there session cost zero dollars thank you so much to everyone who used our referral code uh, at Tesla Tips and Trips, the YouTube channel there. We've got uh, the code, you can still use it. Um, we are at our max, actually. We've uh, referred over 12 people already, and that's what uh, Tesla only allows per calendar year. But you could still use the, um, the code and it'll benefit you. We just don't get anything free out of it, which is absolutely fine, so go ahead and do that. But um, thank you for those that did use it, that did give us enough uh, credits to, uh, to have free supercharging on these road trips, it's fantastic. So um, still getting this message and um, we're still uh, at around 54 kilowatts despite not sharing because there's nobody parked uh, in a five, what are we in, 5A, 5B? Um, so not sharing, but it's just cold. You know, the battery's cold and this is what we have to deal with because we left it sit all night. Oh, you just heard a thump, probably heard a thump. Uh, no worries about that either. People freak out about that. Just a first time Tesla owner and you're, you're plugging in and there's all kinds of noises it's just physics um, at play and it's just things warming up and expanding and doing all that kind of fun stuff so no big deal here we are charging this is gonna be a short video just kind of showing you cold soaking the battery overnight in a hotel situation and uh, coming out to uh, having to leave to our next destination and to a cold battery and what the supercharging situation is like so uh we'll have a update here in a second longtime viewers of the channel know that we actually keep track of our supercharger sessions and the amount that we have been across the globe by the way a bunch in europe in hawaii as well uh, a bunch of states here in the u.s and we are at uh, this one at menteca is a 126 on our list of supercharger visits now of course we visited some superchargers more than once obviously our local one being uh, probably the most but uh, those those are the individual supercharger locations that we have uh, visited across uh, you know our travels so 126 not too bad it's across multiple vehicles too by the way but mostly this model 3 obviously we had a rental in Europe a rental uh, in Colorado, a rental Hawaii. in Hawaii. So uh, not our vehicles for that. But there you go, that's number 126. All right, so just to give you a little tour of the uh, the Manteca Supercharger here. Uh, we've got a Bass Pro Shops over there, which um, I'm assuming has bathrooms and stuff if you need. We've got an AMC movie theater over that way. Uh, looks like a Mexican grill this way. Sorry, I apologize for the wind. If there is a wind, there's a restaurant there as well. Uh, gourmet burgers, it looks like, over that way. So definitely a lot of amenities here. Uh, taking a look at the supercharger situation. It looks like they're all pass-throughs. It's a 20 stall, built in 2015, by the way. So this is a veteran location. One stall here, number 4B, is a, uh, is a uh, disability uh, spot. And then we've got some more pull-throughs here. Uh, by the way, the reason why some of these uh, our hanging is it's super cold and you know the cables get stiff and all that kind of stuff so uh, that's what happens i try to put them up in most cases but uh in this situation they're just going to fall back down and I, i'm guessing after being nine years old as well these right here are probably aging and having a hard time holding the uh, nozzles so over this way i don't know if you can see over this way there are rivian chargers and we're seeing more and more rivian chargers um, connected or nearby Tesla superchargers, which is pretty awesome as well. Love seeing all the uh, charging infrastructure getting into place uh, for the future.
future and beyond. It's it's pretty awesome to see. Now, obviously, Rivian, one of many manufacturers that are going to be able to use our Tesla superchargers very soon, uh, just with the help of an adapter. And then later in 25, they're going to have their own Tesla port built into the car. So uh, that's going to be interesting to see different cars rather than a sea of Teslas at uh, supercharger locations like this. So we're going to see, you know, Mach-E's and Rivian's and all kinds of different things, Mercedes. And there you go, a little tour of Manteca. Here comes a Model Y performance that looks just like ours, but uh, we opted to take our Model 3 on this trip. A little update for you, just uh, said we have enough energy to continue on our trip, but we're going to do a little uh, extra buffer, a little bit extra. We've been uh, kind of maintaining around 55 kilowatts. It's uh, 53 right now, but uh, at least it's kind of steady which is nice. All right, we've got enough to get to our uh, old spaghetti factory location with a little buffer in there because of the cold weather, 48 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug and be on our way. Hey, there's a Hertz rental, I think. Just plugged in. Ah, these things are stiff in the cold weather. Hopefully it'll stay. Nope. Yeah, you gotta be careful with these things so they don't fall toward your car. And these nozzles are just not staying in the um, in the spot. All right, we've got enough to head on our way with this cold uh, battery situation that we wanted to show you on. Uh, you know why the preconditioning didn't work, uh, showing you the speeds at cold conditions. I know people in really cold weather is probably yelling at the screen right now 48 is not cold we get it but um, it was enough to have a snowflake on the battery so uh, there you go all right here we go we are leaving Manteca a pretty old supercharger nine years old and here's the other side that we didn't uh, get a chance to see well that one's seen better days it's falling apart 20 stall I think I mentioned now turn right onto Grove Avenue 150 kilowatt max it served its purpose got us on our road on our way I didn't even look at the time. I think we were there about... Now turn left onto Perimeter Drive. 25 minutes or so. It seemed like uh, about that. <clears throat> and we're headed to our Spaghetti Factory location. Thanks again for watching another Tesla Tips and Trips video. Be sure to hit the like button on this video. Totally, totally helps out the channel, as well as subscribe and the bell if you want to know the instant. We've got something new on the channel. Very, very cool of you to watch. Our cold-soaked battery charging weather short video, which is probably still 10 minutes. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.